So essentially, you want to drive your needle uh, through the grass, down and up and around as you coil the grass onto itself. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue with that, with with with, with that um, action, and just as I uh, sew this on, I start to twist and that helps too and pretty soon we're gonna end up with something like this alright but it's gonna be all secure so the base of the um, the basket is starting to take shape and it's getting pretty big um, and I'm gonna go one more around uh, as it's uh, flat and then I'm gonna start building up um, but right now we run out of cordage so I'm going to show how to splice in. So on this side, I came up through uh, with my needle, and I have my needle here with a new cordage onto it. And so I want to go down from this. I'm going to go opposite uh, direction that I came up through. So I want to feed this through through the fibers. I'm going to pull it through. I want about the same amount of length here. Okay, so we've got our five. We've got our two fibers here. Okay, I want to go ahead. I want to go ahead and give that a twist. Give these a twist. Okay. And then these are going to lay down with our fibers. And then I'm going to just continue. I'm going to go ahead and work these in and twist these in. And then the, the cordage is going to be worked in to our, um, our coil. All right, at this stage, what we're going to start to do is as this is curling around this way, I want to start to gradually build the coil up and around and start layering, layering it on itself to start to create the wall. So that's kind of the progression, is that you start to um, coil these leaves or your material up kind of off center a little bit. And then as you work your coil around, it'll start to stack. Instead of horizontally, they'll stack vertically. So hopefully you can see as I'm, so hopefully you can see as I st start to coil the the leaves around I'm just starting to slowly stack all the way around and I'm stitching it in and so I start to build up my wall alright we're starting to build up the wall of the basket here and all I'm doing is just coiling and starting to stack on top of the previous coil all the way around I'm also putting a twist as I coil around and I start stitching in and I, what I'm shooting for is um, some nice patterns on the outside with the stitching um, so I'm so I'm uh, stitching in this way so I can be right next to the previous um, stitch so uh, it's not the prettiest um, but I'm looking for more functionality at this point point. Um, and uh, for the sake of demo uh, I'm not really too concerned with um, how pretty it's looking, but it'll be definitely functional by the time we're done. So at this stage, we're just building up the walls um, to the desired height. All right, so here is how the basket's coming along. And again, I've just kind of added gradually more uh, grasses or more leaves and just coiled from the bottom all the way up and again depending on how you lay the coils on the preceding coil you can kind of veer up and then shape in I mean there's a, you can be very very creative with this it's almost like sculpting with clay except you're just using coils and stitching them in so essentially this is a I'm going to um, I could go taller if I wanted to um, but I think this is a pro probably a decent uh, size a decent depth uh, for this demo 
and uh, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and sew in a, a handle at this stage if I just wanted to make a basket like this and leave it as such I could go ahead and just kind of bend this around and taper this off um, adding you know me having less at the tip and then just stitch this stitch this in to the preceding rim and then back stitch it off and then that would be the finished basket but um, at this stage I'm going to add some handles so what I want to do is I'm going to insert uh, some uh, some more additional leaves and I'm going to bend this leaf upwards and this is going to go upwards this is going to go upwards and it's going to meet on the other side like so and then I'm going to coil it into itself so 